welcome back to my channel again for this second video about satellite images through Copernicus mission and at this time we are going to see how to work with Sentinel-2 Sentinel-2 has optical camera so it doesn't have the ability to see through the cloud but nevertheless whenever you are looking for floating extent it makes sense to have a look as well through this uh, satellite we are going to use Copernicus browsers a uh, very user friendly browsers the first thing what you need to do is to log in in the Copernicus browser so in the search engine we look for Copernicus here it is we can log in or register in case you do not have the account i have an account therefore i do not need to register i log in as a first stop we'll zoom into the area of interest in this case it will be again b2 republic of congo here on the search i just type b2 and automatically the browser will zoom in onto the area of interest i might change the layer so that it is easier to find the right location using OpenStreetMap. here it is i zoom in properly to the area of interest and i choose the sentinel to satellite per default the Copernicus browsers open Sentinel-2, therefore I do not need to do anything. I will now at this point choose the right date. I know that the big flooding in B2 occurred in December 23. And that's the date that I want to select, 23 December. We have three date with a low cloud coverage. You can see here the cloud coverage. You can play around with this uh, tool and eventually increase the cloud coverage to see if you can have more image. You have at least one image per week. So let's see first through the true color how the situation look like. The first day will be on the 8th of December. It's too much cloudy. Therefore, this picture is for us useless. Let's change the date and let's go to the 13th of December. 13th of December seems to be very good. No clouds at all. Next date will be the 18th of December. The 18th of December seems as well to be very well. Next date would be 23th of December. 23th of December seems to be partially good. Let's have a look later on. And now we can go to the 28th of December. 28th of December is not good so we are not going to use this image now we can go in january 24 we try the 2nd of january uh, it seems it might be good we have some cloud but let's see later on and we have also the 7th of january and the 7th of january seems to be very good okay that's it so now let's combine the band in order that we can detect water for that we use the chat gpt the artificial intelligence as a first step we explore the chat gpt's engine and we look for a dedicated chat gpt that is specialized on sentinel satellite therefore i type sentinel satellite and i get this one okay i start to chat with this specialized boat and i need to write a nice prompt i have already prepared a nice prompt that is going to be pasted in the comments below the video this is the prompt the prompt says write a javascript for copernicus browsers to be used with sentinel 2 i want to detect permanent water temporary water dry land and if there is cloud i want to show the cloud in pink be ultra sensitive for temporary water wetness ensuring that even the slightest wet areas damp soil or minor flooding are classified as temporary water mud must be considered as well as temporary water temporary water gets absolute top priority ensuring no wet zone are missed the legend must be following temporary water permanent water dry land and clouds in pink so i copy this prompt into the chat gpt and i wait for the result here it is i run it and it gives me the javascript that i will have to paste into the 
Copernicus browsers. I have to admit that I have to refine this prompt several times in order to have the best JavaScript that really detects all type of temporary water. You can find my JavaScript as well as a link in the comments below the video. So you check the date. We will start with December on the 13th. Yes, and again we click on custom script. Here, be carefully delete the default script and paste the new script that you are going to take from me. Here it is, you can see very well green the dry land and cyan the uh, temporary water. This script do not detect permanent water, but it doesn't really matter. So that's good seems fine we are going to save this image as a georeferenced image we click on this download icon we go to analytical we choose tiff 8 bit which is good enough and finally we click on download take some time now we change the date we will choose the 18th of december you don't need to repaste the script okay here you can clearly see some clouds that's fine, but they are not actually uh, disturbing us. So we download it on the same way, analytical and TIFF 8-bit and download. Again, we can change the date. This time we go on the 23. And uh, here we have some cloud partial disturbing us, but we will try anyway to use this image. We can download it on the same way, download icon, analytical, and TIFF 8-bit and download. We change the date and we go in January 24. We try the 2nd of January. You remember it was slightly clouded, but it is useless for us we can change it and we go to the 7th of january this seems to be fine the clouds are not uh, disturbing us and we can download the image fine 